What's good? It's your boy Dom from Dom Not Coaching and Entertainment for a coaching session link down below. With that being said, the sober mind, a gateway to your soul. Understand that being sober minded is like, I remember, bro, growing up, bro, people be like, yo, I hate being sober. Like, I love being sober. Now, granted, like, if y'all came to some of my live streams, you know I could get lit with y'all. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's not, it's not, it's, I don't hate being sober. Like, what the heck? Being sober is the best thing ever. And actually, believe it or not, people get into spirituality, right? They want all this mystical, woo-woo stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last stages of sobering. <laughs> the last stage of spirituality is becoming sober. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go beyond all the mystical, you go beyond all that mystical, woo-woo stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you just get in tune with the source, which becomes way more stable and calm. And it becomes less woo-woo. And it becomes a bit more of a sobering experience where you're more clear, calm-headed, and you understand what the freak is going on. So being sober is not bad. Experiencing regular life is not bad. You don't always got to be geeked up off a of substance, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're actually sober, it builds a gateway to your soul. Because understand that when you're on the influence of a substance, right, your mind's agitated. Even when, even when you're, even when you're calm, your mind's agitated. You know, it, it, isn't that so backwards? You taking this on to calm you down, but it agitates your mind. Huh, yeah, all drugs agitate your mind. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, or they dull them. If it if it's not going to agitate you, it's going to at least dull your mind. And if you're agitated or you're dulled, you can't perceive your true self and your higher self. If you're agitated, too many thoughts keep on freaking popping through. If you're dull, thoughts still pop through, but it's like you can't even freaking perceive and receive them. You're just kind of like, yeah, like a zombie. And you're not aware. You're not aware of anything. You're just, yeah, in zombie land. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's not how you connect to your soul. So people, a lot of times people think that being all psychedelics and stuff like that is what you really need. That stuff does help. You know what I'm saying? Weed helps. Mushrooms help. LSD can help. Um, ayahuasca can help. All these things can help. But at the end of the day, that's not how you, that's not, the, that's not how you truly get to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how you truly get to what really matters. It's not through the drugs and the psychedelics. It's through the sober mind, bro. In fact, What's supposed to happen a lot of time is that you do the psychedelic thing and now you don't need it no more. The psychedelic thing just showed you something. You're like, oh my God, this is crazy. Now I got to meditate on this. Then you start becoming you start becoming sober from your old experience. But most people take psychedelic. This was crazy. Another psychedelic. That's crazy. Another psychedelic. That's crazy. And I'm not, and I'm not saying don't do that. If you're going to do that though, don't be doing it for the same thing. Like, like take psychedelics. Like, if you're taking a psychedelic like, every single day, bro, there better be some type of freaking experiment, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you better be doing something with this psychedelic. And it better not be to connect with your, with your higher self all the time. Because you, you could do that through the sober mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You've been feeling down for a little bit. You've been feeling like you're in a funk. Okay, quick little mushroom trip. Ding. That's cool. I get it. But if you always need a mushroom trip and that's your only way of getting in tune with the source, it's like, come on, bro. If smoking weed is your only way of getting in tune with the source, it's like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I am a spiritual life coach. I can help you connect. Uh, coach a session down below if you really want a session. But aside from that, bro, without my help, at least meditate. You know what I'm saying? At least meditate when you feel the urge to do something if you can't stop doing something. I'm not saying you got to put it down forever. I'm just saying, bro, if you're dependent on a substance in order to connect with your soul and to the higher self, that is a problem. Because you're not connecting to the higher self. You're connecting to the substance. And yes, the substance is higher than your natural state. But imagine if you got in tune with your higher self that's naturally higher than all the psychedelics and the substances and all that type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So being sober should not be slept on. Yeah, I like to get lit too. I like to, you know what I'm saying? Don't we all like that? I like I like a psychedelic. I like smoking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I could do that. I could. Not going to lie. You got a blunt. Let's roll up. But it's like, I don't need that. And nor am I going to act like when I'm on that I'm fully connected to source. Like, no, the sober mind is how you get there. Being sober minded allows you to peer. Bro, being high trying to leave your body sucks, first of all. <laughs> Dreaming when you're high sucks because everything is like freaking flashing lights. So everything's just too freaking bright, bright and blurry. You can't even freaking remember your dreams. That's not how you access the soul. You don't do that while freaking being high or all psychedelics. That stuff can help, but you truly do it through the sober mind. The psychedelics teach you something, so that way when you actually are sober, you have greater experience. You see what I'm saying?
the sober mind is the gateway to the soul, bro. When you're sober, you have clear vision, you have clear insight, you could easily receive information from the source and from your higher self. And when it's and, and when it's time to dream and leave your body, you could freaking see clearly. You know what I'm saying? If you always agitated, having all these thoughts come through, how do you know it's thought coming from your higher self? If you're just dull in zombie mode, you can't even freaking hear your thoughts. <laughs> they coming, but it's like, are you aware of them? You're not. You're just, you're just big zombie. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, if you need help connecting with yourself, bro, coach your session down below. If you want to support the channel, you could donate to my Cash App or Patreon. I have a $5 one that has insight into my life. The $10 one includes a book club along with the insight. With that being said, it's been your boy, Doc, from the Dot Me Now campaign. I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.